Man, sometimes I feel like I'm some kind of masochist who wants to be roasted in the comment section. Either that or I'm actively trying to piss off my subscribers. It must feel that way to some people. Here many of you guys are innocently asking for videos on Boardwalk Empire to accompany the kind of stuff I've done on The Sopranos and The Wire. And then the first video I go and make on the show in ages, I'm slagging the series off and calling it a disappointment. But seriously though, there's a couple of three things I want to mention before getting into this video. The first is that I have already seen Boardwalk Empire quite a few years ago now. In fact, I've reviewed most of it and have a few videos on the show like what happened to Arnold Rothstein and why did the show kill off you know who. But it's not fresh in my mind, so I'm probably not going to be able to give specific examples in this video, but I am planning on doing a rewatch of the show soon. I know that this video is going to get a lot of hate, but there's just a few things I wanted to get off my chest about the show, hence making this video before I dive back into the world of Boardwalk Empire. Because otherwise, I would feel dishonest towards my subscribers if I started making loads of videos on this show without talking about serious issues I have with it. And hey, here's hoping my opinion on the show changes and improves with my rewatch. It's also worth mentioning that I'm pretty sure that the only major US show I had watched in its entirety before Boardwalk Empire was The Sopranos. I was really new to TV, and really I still am. And since then, I've watched the likes of The Wire, Breaking Bad, and Deadwood, all acclaimed series. So that expression that people often use when you're disappointed with something, oh well, you must only watch masterpieces then, is actually fitting here, because literally the only thing I had to compare Boardwalk Empire to was The Sopranos. So of course it was going to come off as a disappointment when you compare it to perhaps the best show ever made. The final thing I wanted to mention is that I actually like Boardwalk Empire. I thought it was great. It is a great show, end of story. You can click off the video now. But the thing is, a thing can be both good and disappointing at the same time. So how is it that someone like me, an avid lover of the crime genre and gangster movies, as shown by the kind of videos I've made on the likes of Goodfellas, The Sopranos and The Godfather, can walk away from Boardwalk Empire feeling shortchanged? Well, picture the scene. The gangster genre is long since dead, and the towering juggernaut of prestige television, HBO, announced that they are making a new gangster show, not just any gangster show, but a big budget series focused on the prohibition era of American crime, arguably the golden age of American crime, weaving between true life history and dramatic fiction. A show that will feature legendary names in mob history such as Arnold Rothstein, Maya Lansky, Johnny Torrio, Joe Masseria and Charlie Luciano. The founder of La Cosa Nostra, the mafia as we know it today. And even if casual crime TV watchers weren't familiar with them, they would at least know the name Al Capone featured heavily on the show. If that wasn't enough, Terence Winter, one of the main writers of The Sopranos, was the creator of the show. If that wasn't enough, Martin Scorsese, my favourite living film director and mob movie royalty, the man who revolutionised the mafia film genre with Goodfellas and Casino, would serve as producer. On top of this, this top tier A-list Hollywood director would direct the first episode of the show. The most expensive pilot episode in TV history. Standard procedure nowadays, but back then it was a pretty new thing for such a huge director to direct the pilot episode of a new show. And if The Sopranos was showing the mob at the end of the thing, when the glory days were over and the mob was the lofty expectations, it really should have matched. And it wasn't the high expectations of the show that damaged it for me, because like I said, I enjoyed the show. But I could never shake the feeling watching Boardwalk Empire of, yeah, good, but it should have been better. Even its reputation. The show only ended 10 years ago, but it's like it straight up disappeared. Where is it? Where are the discussions on it? Where is the talk about follow-up movies and spin-offs, like so many undeserving shows get, and yet Boardwalk has so much untapped potential with real-life history it didn't cover. There is a distinct lack of legacy when it comes to Boardwalk Empire. Other shows of its era, Breaking Bad, Mad Men, The Wire, The Shield, amassed huge fan bases who talk about the show to this day, and yet on the Boardwalk front, things are cold, quiet and empty. The real life history has legacy, but the show itself can't ride on that. There was so much fanfare at the time, but the show just kind of came and went. So what is it about the show that I didn't like? Well, it's difficult to put into tangible terms, but one of the key issues I always remember having was that sure, 
Clearly a lot of money was spent on the show. The actors, the costumes, the sets, the CGI, clearly it was given attentive care. But am I alone in thinking the show felt just a bit empty? Like a lack of substance? You know how so many shows are so dense, so many things going on at the same time, even if it's metaphorical or metatextual, but behind the dress up, behind the money, behind the glitz and glamour, Buruk Empire just felt a bit basic. There's an emptiness to the show, a hollowness. I'm not saying it's an emperor's new clothes situation, but when you put the admittedly stunning production values to a side, there's not a huge amount on offer. Yes, a handful of characters were very well developed and interesting. Jimmy, Van Alden, Al Capone, Chalky White, Richard Harrow. But they were surrounded by faceless, nameless, shameless characters you don't remember. Trapped in storylines that took so long in getting going, Boruk Empire was cancelled by the time they hit their stride. It's like those old B-movie horror flicks you had from decades ago with incredible VHS covers full of blood, terror and gore. But when you watch the film... It's just 90 minutes of Vincent Price running around in front of the same broken down set being shown 10 times, posing as different locations. Boardwalk promises Capone, crime, corruption, bootlegging, but it's nowhere near as interesting as its premise. It moves really slow. The stories take their sweet time, as if the show thought it was guaranteed to get an 8 season run. And I remember, I think I mentioned it in, in one of my reviews, I had the distinct feeling I was always seeing the beginning or the ending of a good scene, but not the meat of it. As in, let's say The Wire, we don't see when the mayor is told that the serial killer is fake, which we already know, but we see his reaction to it, which is the most interesting part of the scene. So that entire segment is just cut to the most interesting part. With Woodwalk, whether it was an argument, a revelation, or even a murder, sometimes the most interesting stuff happened off-screen. And I distinctly remember numerous shots of actors looking sombre and dramatic, staring at walls and windows, but these kind of shots are the icing on the cake. Where's the cake itself? Sometimes, Boardwalk didn't even know what to do with a group of characters whilst other characters were in the midst of a storyline. Margaret, in particular, seems like a character that was in a pinball machine that was going from storyline to storyline, trying to make her fit somewhere, trying to give her something to do. Dare I say it, as bizarre as it sounds, I feel the show lacked ambition. You could have done so much with the premise. The Chicago storyline could have been like its own show, the home and family life of these notorious individuals could have been explored, a la The Sopranos, and the show, theoretically, could have gone on and on, including the gangsters of the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, maybe ending at the same time period where Scorsese started setting his gangster films. I'm not exaggerating when I say Bulldog Empire could have been the most expansive crime show of all time. Endless possibilities for storylines. But what we got was last season straight up ridiculous because we spent so much time looking at his past when there's a bucket load of stories the show has to wrap up. He was just never that much of an interesting character. He was a pivot in many ways to hold together the vast amount of different characters in the show, a tool to have the show focusing on the legitimate corrupt world and simultaneously the sinister underworld, garnishing it with a bit of Nucky's home life. He was the bridge between the two worlds, but was it necessary to go the Sopranos route and focus on Nucky? So many shows like Game of Thrones and The Wire seamlessly told stories where the main character changed over time. Heck, you could argue these shows didn't even have main characters, and it did nothing to harm the narrative focus. In fact, it freed it of potential shackles. Nucky was a bystander in his own show at times. Whenever I look back and think of the parts of Boardwalk I enjoyed, Nucky was hardly involved, and this may come off as treason, but I don't think Steve Buscemi, as good as he was, gave an irreplaceable performance as Nucky. Not in the way that you look at someone like Tony Soprano and you think to yourself, I can't picture anyone else in this role aside from James Gandolfini. If anything, Buscemi felt like stunt casting because he was against the type, and I posit that there are actors who could have brought more life to the character. If you're going to make a show with the premise being that these fake or mostly fictional characters exist in and amongst real life historical figures, you gotta make them interesting, like Richard Harrow. Otherwise, people will yearn to see more of the real guys. And if there isn't enough meat there, why not just, you know, kill off Nucky? They did it with Jimmy, 
Or you could have characters weave in and out of importance as per where the storyline is going. Like how shows like The Wire did, where someone like McNulty, the closest thing to the show's main character, is hardly in the fourth season. But revolving everything around Nucky restricted the show, because he was never the best thing about it. What does it say about a show that has your eyes glued to the screen watching Capone or Rothstein do their business, and then you get a bit disappointed and unengaged when the action goes back to the main character? Many of my issues with Boardwalk Empire could have been marked as holding back because it wanted to floor you later on. We got small tidbits of Luciano, seeing him mainly as a young gruff hood. The same with Al Capone, who was in the show sparingly, and then he eventually takes over the Chicago outfit. But doesn't that happen in like season 4? Season 4 out of a 5 season show. I always had this feeling that yes, now Boardwalk Empire will truly stop. Now this slow build up will kickstart a show firing on all cylinders. And doing some research, it seems this was the case, with Terence Winter on record talking about the future of the show after season 3, saying, The bigger picture. The formation of the Big Seven, the gangster conference in Atlantic City, the beginning of a national crime syndicate. So clearly there were plans there. But to my shock and horror, the plug was pulled, the rug was pulled from beneath me, the magician accidentally cut the lady in half, and whatever other cliché you can come up with to say that the show was cancelled, cut short to a single final season which has less episodes than usual, and which the showrunners massively dropped the ball on. Whatever the reason was, whether Game of Thrones and Bulldog Empire were too expensive to simultaneously shoot, whether the crew of the show got bored and wanted to start their next series vinyl, which flopped, whatever the reason was, I know I would not be disappointed in Bulldog Empire. Not at least anywhere near close to how I feel about the show at this time, if season 4 was followed up with one or two solid seasons and a conclusion, maybe even a tease for a sequel season. I don't want to talk too much about the final season of the show, many of my grievances are in my review of season 5, but it was just so disappointing. It was like raising a kid, feeding and clothing him, giving him an education, and as soon as he becomes a man, you push him off a cliff. Like... This was the perfect time for the show to get going. Capone was boss of Chicago. Luciano sets up the commission. This is the kind of stuff you would expect to be in the beginning of such a show, not the end. It feels like Capone's reign is just beginning and all of a sudden he gets called into court where we know he will end up getting sent down. We saw his rise, glimpsed his fall, but where was the meat? Like I said before, just came and went. Arnold Rothstein, arguably the show's best character, dying off-screen, thrown away, discarded, without even a flashback. Just shocking. Again, it's a lack of ambition. Who says you can't do a left-field episode showing the downfall of Arnold Rothstein before going back to Nucky's story? No Atlantic City Conference, which had the potential to be the show's most iconic scene. No St. Valentine's Day Massacre, J. Edgar Hoover was on the rise, Narcisse becoming an informant. So many abandoned storylines or things not included. And I'm a believer that a show has to have consistent quality, has to have a good ending to be classed as one of the great shows. It's why I wouldn't call Game of Thrones one of the greats, as astonishing as earlier seasons were, or even Deadwood, as it pains me to say. It was just too short at three seasons, but had it had a few more at similar qualities, I'd have no doubt it would be in the same conversation as The Sopranos or The Wire, a stunning show. But Boardwalk came with promise, but then gave up as soon as it came so close to glory. They could have easily gotten another few seasons out of it, and I think that's what really grinds my bones, that's where my frustration is. I recently finished re-watching The Sopranos, and I was struck by how, even though the first four seasons were exceptional, it was the last two seasons that really elevated the show, that took it to a new level. Season 5 and 6 had a different feel, they were more grim, more gritty, and things felt more serious. The sixth season in particular is on another level, brings things full circle and adds so much to the show. On my rewatch, I realised how many of my favourite scenes and storylines were all in the final season. Potentially, Boardwalk Empire could have had a similar fate, but it was gutted. And maybe some of that unrealised potential, that anticipation that had no climax, left a bitter taste in my throat and made me dismiss the entire show because of how it stumbled over the finishing line. 
and knowing that there were plans for something greater makes it hurt all the more. As Winter once said, certain people will come and go, and minor players or certain people we meet along the way will come to prominence in later years. And it was just starting to become that. The final season had Luciano, Capone and Lansky really start their stories and build their empires. The show was just starting to become the show it was originally envisioned to be, what it should have been from the beginning. Nucky could have become a side character as we spend more time in Chicago and New York, but it was cancelled right at that very moment. The series is less than the sum of its parts as they say. You take into account the history, the costumes and the set design, the actors and the people behind the scenes and it never really moulds into something greater as it really should have been. It just never really clicked. With all that being said, Boardwalk Empire is still a great show, has some fantastic moments, memorable characters and I enjoyed my time with it and I hope my second time with it is even better. What do you think of the show and what do you make of my criticism? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.